see men ling- I'm, I say, I see men lingering. Because I've done this before. Preached in Birmingham, Philip, right? And I said that Eli, Ellen White says, right? Eli's sons went astray because of the father's bad parenting. An elder came to me and cussed me out. I said, elder, listen, man. I'm sorry that you feel that way. But the word is the word. Eli's sons were brought bad because of him. That's it. Fathers take responsibility. Do you guys know I have an innate feeling, even if my wife done something wrong, where she took my daughter and, 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 and trained her a different way, do you know that something inside of me takes responsibility for that? Like, even though it wasn't me, but as a man, that happened on my watch. Men, we are powerful. When church men stand up, oh, wow, society will start to get regulated again. Lack of men. I make appeal to young men now. Young men, listen, you better come to the front, you know, because I'm telling you right now, you will become all you've seen. And you don't want to be that man. You want to be a man of God. You're young. You haven't got married. You're not married yet. You're not got kids yet. You're still young and you're a man. Come to the front. Let the Lord impact your life with a commitment today. Come to the front even now and ask the Lord as we pray to make you the man who you need to be. Wherever you are, young men, I'm calling you. And I'm calling you. You come to the front. And you know why they come? You know why he's coming? I'm telling you right now. It's not just because of the spirit. He sees a man that he believes in. I'm telling you. This young man is not just coming because he's heard a fancy message. He's looking at a man who he knows. He knows what he's talking about. And I said that in my sermon. That's why God calls the men. Because of our influence. Our leadership. We are naturally gifted to lead the nation. We cannot just fold our arms and do nothing. We have to stand up as men. If, what's your name, big man? Amir. You see little Amir? I almost start crying when I see him. Do you know why I start crying almost when I see the little man? Because I, I look at Amir, right? And I don't think you guys understand If we don't show a man the right way, demons will guide his life. And then we're going to say, we're not going to let that happen. Church, how much a man have left the church? How much? How much? So please don't think that just because you see a man here today, If you don't put some strategies in place to keep a man in the fold, I'm telling you, he's going to leave. But a man, keep your eyes on Jesus. I promise you a man, right? I remember being your age, looking at all the men in the church. And I love all the men in the church, but but a man, when I get to secondary school, a man, I get to my older years, I'm 15 and I'm 14. And man, listen, church is only one day a week. And you go to school five days a week. And man, if five men have a fight with one man, who's going to win? The five, right? So a man, you've got to make sure you get to know Jesus so much. So that when you go to school, that you're going to be the light of the world. You have to be the light of your school because if you're not the light for your school, they're going to put their darkness on you. But Amir, listen, we don't want you to do that by yourself. The aim, Amir, is that all you do is just look at the men around you and if they're doing the right thing, if you can see it, then you can be it. If we don't show Amir what a king looks like, don't get mad when he's not a king. Don't get mad if he's not a good husband. Don't get mad at a man if he hurts his wife. Don't get mad at him. I promise you, 
if a man turns out like that, he has gone down a road where he has not seen the opposite. So men, if you're not going to do it for anyone else, do it for a man. Father God in heaven, we don't got to pray long. We've been here long. God, you've seen everything. That wasn't us. That was not us. That wasn't work of me. Father God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Consecrate every man in this room right now. Consecrate them in the name of Jesus right now. Send down your Holy Spirit. We don't need the, we don't need the oil. We, it would be good. Lord, Lord, it would be good if we had the oil, the olive oil. But Lord, you are the Spirit. You are, you are the Spirit. Send your Spirit down in every man right now in the name of Jesus. Impart in them the Holy Ghost right now. Their homes may be going through some dysfunction. Their homes might be going through whatever it's going through. Just like the centurion soldier, you said to him, even before you get home, your servant had been healed. So Lord, even before we get home, I pray that you can start the redemptive work on our families. Lord, I pray that you can revive our men. Give them back their love. Give them back their compassion. Give them back their peace. Give them back their joy. Not just happiness. Happiness is not joy. Happiness only happens as a reaction for good events. Joy is joy. It is there inside of me regardless of the circumstance. So Lord, give us back our joy. Take our tyrannical spirits away. And Lord, help us to be models of the gospel. Help us to be the model of who you are. And I pray these things, Lord. Lord, be with our women. Be with them. Help them to carry on. Help them to know that they're loved. Help them to know, Lord, that we're trying. Men are trying. And we're trying to be better for them. Help our women to understand the plight of a man is a serious plight also. Help them to be more compassionate and kind and long-suffering with the men. But Lord, we should not be warring. A family that is broken, Lord, is like a glass. Glass will cut us when broken. So Lord, I pray that you can mend us in the name of Jesus. And everyone that believes, say amen and amen. Amen. Please stand for a closing song. Yeah, just before we do the closing song, I would like to also join. I would also like you to join me to thank the Lord for the way He has used Andrew Fuller to deliver the word today, and I'm sure that we have all been blessed. Um, also, we know the routine. You are parked on either side. Make sure you make yourself available in case you have to move because some people may not be staying. Thank you. Can you have the song on the screen, please? 373.
Jesus, souls that awake and hearts that are so leading them forth in ways of salvation, showing the path to life evermore. Jesus, the Lamb, the Lamb for sinners slain. Thus would I go on missions of mercy, following Christ from day unto day, sharing the faith and raising the in the lost to Jesus the way going on far far among the towns in bringing the wonder wondrous back again into the fold into the fold Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this blessing. We know we say this is a cliche term, but we mean it for real. I pray, Lord, that even though we leave this place, we will never leave your presence. Just, 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 Lord, cover us from the back to the front and just bless us, Lord. Everything that we prayed for, we're awaiting the blessing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yeah. 